All right, so men, yeah, it's just doing a, a simple bar price comparison. All right, so on the current bar, if you look back three bars, yeah, he wants to verify that. So the high of the current bar is higher than three bars back. The low of the current bar is higher than three bars back. And of course, if the high or the low is higher than three bars back, then obviously the close of the current bar is going to be higher. So, all right. Yeah, so a man, that would just be a, a couple of comparison solvers to do that. Yeah, so Amin, what type of chart would this be on? I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, actually, it's not going to matter what, what, what chart type. Um, yeah, comparing, you know, a bar high and low to the bar three bars back. Yeah, it's not going to matter what type of chart um, this is on here. All right, so let's just say, right, um, that with the arrow, this is our current bar. And so you know, we essentially want to know is the low, right, higher than, you know, than the high of three bars back. So I guess a, another way to visualize this is something like that, right? So we can take the high of three bars back, right, and compare it to the low um, of the current bar. Yeah, and so if so, if the current bar is, you know, if its low is higher than the high of three bars back, then a min wants to generate a long signal there. Yeah, so clearly, you know, if the low of the bar is above the high of three bars back, then obviously the high of that bar is going to be higher than the high of three bars back, right? So. You know, I don't think you need to compare the all three prices, you know, so I don't think you need to compare the high, the low and the close to the bar that's three bars back. Um, let's see. Also, a min wants to make sure that this would be an up bar. Yeah, so if this is an up bar, then we're going to compare the low of this up bar to the high of three bars back. So let's see here. Let's start a new logic template here. Okay, so we want to know if the current bar, space in there, if the current bar is above or below, you know, three bars back. All right, so this is just going to be a simple matter of setting up. Actually, I think this can all just be done with one comparison solver. Let's see, this might need two comparison solvers, but um, we'll see. So it's, it is just going to be a matter of using, you know, comparison solvers. All right, so what are we comparing here? Um, so of the current bar, we're going to look at the low price, do this, draw this a different way. So we're going to compare the low of the current bar to the high of three bars back. So we're going to compare the low and also at the same time for, for a short signal, we're going to compare the high price. Then we're going to compare that to the high or for a short, the low of um, three bars back. All right, so both of our inputs are going to be prices. All right, so we're going to change the type to price. So now we have access to the bar prices. So for both input A and input B, they're both going to be set to price. So again, so we have a, on our chart, right, where we have a situation for a long signal. So for a long, the current bar, we're looking at the low price of the current bar. So for long, we're going to set this to the low price. And so for a short signal, it's going to be the opposite. So that's going to be the high price. And now input B, that's going to be the third bar back, right? And so we're looking at the high price of the third bar back. So for a long, we're comparing that to the high price. And so if it was a short signal, that's going to be the low price. And we want it to be three bars back. If you notice, the look back period starts at one, right? 
So you can't have a period of zero. There's no such thing as a zero period, right? If I type zero on there, you can see it, it knocks it back up to one, right? There's no such thing as a zero period, right? Period, you know, when you have a, the period of an indicator, you know, it always has to be at least a one bar period. So the current bar, it, you know, has a look back period of one. And so for our third bar back, well, that's gonna be a look back period of four. So three plus one gives you four. And so here's some results. Um, so let's just kind of take a look at these. So that looks correct, right? That low is above the high of three bars back. Let's take a look at this one here, right? That low is above that high, great. Let's see, that low is not above the high of three bars back, right? Right, so we can see that, you know, these three bars here with no output, right? Clearly the low, or, you know, these three bars are not above, you know, their, their respective third bar back. And let's see if we have a downtrend going on here. Here we go. All right, so here's a downtrend situation. So, right, that looks good. All right, and let's see the other, yeah, the other condition that we need. So, you know, this, let's see, I think, yeah, because I'm on a Ranko chart, you know, the signals happen to correlate with the bar direction, right? So we can see that I'm only generating long signals on up bars and short signals on down bars. You know, and that's because of the, the bar type, right? This is a Ranko bar. But if we switch to, let's switch to a, a minute chart here. So on a minute chart here, um, yeah, here we go. So here's an example of a down bar, right? With a long signal on a down bar. And actually here's a bunch of other down bars. Same thing, All right? So to make sure that the current bar direction matches with matches up with the signal direction, we just need to add a bar direction solver here. There, we just need to add that into the mix. Grab a AND node. And there we have it. All right, that should be it. So let's take a take a look here. Yeah, so there we go. As long as we have a slight down angle, there we go. So we know this bar is completely above the bar three bars back. And let's take a look at these others here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, there we go. Here's a short signal. And of course, just take note here that, right, a doji doesn't have a bar direction, right? So there's not going to be any signals on doji bars like this, right? Like that bar and that bar, right, those are both dojis. So no, no bar direction. All right, I think that's it.